Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Glenn Schumach, and I'm Dean of the UIC College of Pharmacy. It's my great pleasure to welcome you all to this virtual white coat ceremony. Let me give a special welcome to the parents, family, friends, and significant others that are joining us this afternoon. I know I can speak for everyone when I say thank you. Thank you for the support and guidance that you have provided to get your student to this milestone. We are so very happy that you are joining us for this significant event. Today, we recognize the students that have been admitted to the UIC College of Pharmacy class of 2024. The students in this class are a very impressive group and they come to us from across the United States and even from other countries. In fact, students in this class speak 24 native languages. Let's go to the galley view so we can see some of our new students. Students, please give a thumbs up or a wave as I call the, uh, the, your place of origin. So we have students in this class from Canada, Korea, Singapore, Taiwan, and Vietnam. And we have students from 17 different states, from California, Texas, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Alabama, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, North Carolina, Virginia, Indiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, and Ohio. We even let in a few from Wisconsin. And of course, we have students from the great state of Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the class of 2024 of the UIC College of Pharmacy. I hope I can hear you through the cyberspace and congratulating these future pharmacists. I probably don't have to tell any of you what it means to have been admitted to this school, but I'm going to anyway. This school has a great history and reputation and I am personally very proud to be part of it. This college was founded in 1859, over 160 years ago. We were founded as the Chicago College of Pharmacy, a private school and only the fifth school of pharmacy in the country. We had a rough start, having to close temporarily during the Civil War and then burning down in the Chicago fire. But like the city of Chicago itself, this college survived through grit and determination. In 1896, the school was purchased by the University of Illinois. In 1915, it moved from downtown Chicago to the medical campus to join co the colleges of medicine and dentistry in what was eventually called the University of Illinois at the Medical Center. And in 1982, that medical campus merged with UIC. Finally, in 2010, we opened our campus in Rockford. Throughout its long history, this college has been a leader in pharmaceutical education, research, and practice. Our faculty and alumni have invented new drugs, including the current leading treatment for bladder cancer. We also have a new contraceptive drug invented here that's just entered the market this month. And there are several drugs for treating breast cancer that we have that are in clinical trials. Another fun fact, mayonnaise was invented by one of our alumni. Can you imagine a world without mayonnaise? How would you eat a BLT sandwich? I don't know. Today, the college is ranked number seven in the country in the US News and World Report. And we're also number seven in total research. We have one of the largest clinical pharmacy programs in the country with seven pharmacies that we own and operate. And we have the lowest student to faculty ratio among top pharmacy schools. We also have among the most diverse student bodies in the country. And that is a fact that we're very proud of. You, the class of 2024, will join over 15,000 previous students that have entered our program over the past 160 years. Our alumni are leaders of major pharmacy organizations, drug companies, professional associations, 
and government agencies. They are located across the country and world, and they are ready and willing to help you in your journey of becoming a pharmacist. Students, this ceremony marks not only your matriculation into one of the best pharmacy uh, programs in the country, but more important, it is your introduction to a profession. Your journey over the next four years is not just to receive a degree. Rather, you are here to become a professional, a pharmacist. The white coat that you will be asked to wear is meant to symbolize the profession, to always remind you that you are part of something larger, larger than yourself, that your actions reflect not just on you, but on those that share the honor of being pharmacists. The coat also reminds you that it is your duty to serve your patients competently, ethically, and always putting their best interests first. I know that you will excel at this. And the white coats that you received that start you on the path to becoming a pharmacist were generously provided by a donation from the Albertsons Corporation. Albertsons is the parent company of Jewel Osco, which you might be more familiar with if you're from the Midwest. And I'd like to thank Rochelle Allen, who is manager of pharmacy recruiting and college relations for Jewel Osco. She's a great friend of the college. And for many years, she's advocated for us within her company, making the donation of the white coat ceremony possible. So thank you, Ms. Allen. Before I finish, let me just say one more thing to our new students. The doors of this college have been open to you. As you've already heard in your orientation, this college offers you endless opportunities, opportunities that are, not, that are not available at other schools of pharmacy, opportunities to work on projects with world-class researchers in their labs where they're discovering new drugs or new uses or outcomes of medications, opportunities to learn from the largest group of clinical pharmacy faculty in the world, clinicians that are developing new ways to provide pharmaceutical care that will become the standard of pharmacy practice in the future. Opportunities to participate or lead in over 25 student organizations that are involved in professional development and community services. Opportunities to be mentored by a network of thousands of alumni, partners, and friends of this college. To get the most out of your time here, please take advantage of these and other opportunities to learn and develop as a professional. You are here because we believe in you. We want you to be the future leaders of this profession. We want you to be UIC. So we have one more speaker before we get started with the actual ceremony. I'd like to introduce Dr. Kevin Wren to say a few words on behalf of our Rockford campus. Dr. Wren, is clinical professor and vice dean of our Rockford campus. Take it away, Kevin. Thank you, Dean Schumach. Um, students, you're joining a very highly honorable and trusted profession, so be proud. We're we're willing, sorry, I should take that off first. Um, we're so used to wearing those. Um, but we welcome you as part and your family and your friends here today. So please enjoy. These are proud moments. I would say hold on to them as my first message uh, to you. I don't remember much from 1986, but I do remember the day I interviewed for pharmacy school uh, down to what I wore on that day. It was a proud day for me and a day that I remember um, quite vividly. If you can picture it, it was a gray shirt, a little bit of purple in it. I, saw, I wore uh, my Capizio shoes and suspenders, a members only jacket. Um, some of those brands like members only may not mean much to you guys today as students, but uh, ask your parents, they're probably familiar with them. Um, needless to say, I felt like I was in style and, and looking good, um, but I do remember the moment. Um, I certainly digress a little bit from my message um, and the point of how momentous the moments are. So be present today. Perhaps take a picture in your mind's eye or maybe a screenshot of your screen um, and hold on to them today. Um, I did get in, as you can see, I'm standing here in front of you. Uh, I called my sister and getting on to my second point, 
uh, she's a nurse and I was, she was proud of me and, you know, joining these trusted health professions as we were both in, or I was entering. Um, and she said to me, I'm going to call my friend uh, in the pharmacy department at the hospital she worked, and maybe we'll get you a job in the pharmacy. And I remember saying, there's pharmacists in hospital? My only impression of pharmacy uh, was community pharmacy, and I did love it. Um, but little did I know that my whole career would be spent in hospital pharmacy um, and in emergency medicine in particular. But my key point in that is networking. Uh, my first job in pharmacy, which helped support me through pharmacy school, was because my sister helped me network uh, with a pharmacist at her hospital. Um, down to the job I have today as the vice dean here in Rockford uh, also came to me in, in, in the networks that I'd formed over the years. So take advantage of the networks um, that you'll meet and, and, and make here at UIC, um, that being our great alumni base, our preceptors, the faculty and staff that we have. Um, I also had a recent conversation with a P4 student here in Rockford about what networking meant to him. Uh, and we often talk about networking uh, up, perhaps to people you think that are you know, higher than you on the chain, so to speak, but it's also networking amongst yourselves. Um, you guys as students will work very closely together, you know, get involved with organizations, volunteer for blood pressure screening. These are the people that eventually when you graduate, you're gonna work with and perhaps for someday, or perhaps they may work for you. Um, so take advantage of all the networking opportunities that are out there, not just the, those that you perceive um, above you now on the chain, but also your colleagues and, and friends. The people that I met in pharmacy school really are the closest friends and colleagues uh, that I have today because you have so much in common and you'll spend so much time with them on a daily basis. From this moment forward, um, you'll also be known as student pharmacists. There's true meaning in that term. Um, it's a recent shift in our profession from saying, uh, you all are pharmacy students versus you are a student pharmacist. And there might be, you might think, well, what's the difference in that? I'm a student pharmacist versus I'm a pharmacy student. But it really does mean something. You are the term pharmacist in your title, student pharmacist. You are doing the duties of a pharmacist when you're out there, certainly under the supervision of your, your preceptors and pharmacists above you. Um, but you guys are doing things. You're counseling patients. You're immunizing. You're monitoring and making adjustments to drug therapy with your preceptors. So be proud of that and be proud of being called a student pharmacist. I'm looking forward to working with all of you on both campuses. I do have roles, um, certainly mainly here in Rockford, but you will see me on the Chicago campus as well. So please feel free to say hi anytime or if you need things, uh, reach, out to, reach out to me. And again, I just wanna congratulate you all uh, for making it in. Uh, it's certainly no small feat and you should be very, very proud of yourself. I too wanna thank Rochelle Allen and the Julasco uh, Corporation and Albertsons. Um, going back to my, my, uh, my rant on networking earlier, um, Rochelle and I go a long way back. She actually was one of the first pharmacists I worked with uh, when I worked in community pharmacy part-time on the weekends. She hired me in her store in Addison, Illinois. Uh, and to this day, we're still working together uh, in her new role and my new role. So pharmacy, again, it's a small world. Take advantage of the networking, be proud and, uh, and enjoy this, this ceremony. At this point, I would like to turn it over to Ms. Cindy Schaefer. She is our Director of Student Affairs here on the Rockford campus uh, to proceed with the program. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rin. First, let me say how excited I am to welcome you to the UIC College of Pharmacy. To echo the words of Dr. Rin, Dr. Schumach, um, who spoke before me, this is a huge accomplishment and you should be very proud of yourselves. We worked really hard to make the white coat ceremony as special as possible for you in this virtual format, so we hope you really enjoy it. With that being said, I'd like to turn it over to my counterpart in Chicago, Dan DeCesar, who's the Director of Student Affairs for the Chicago campus. Thank you, Cindy. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dan DeCesar, Director of Student Affairs for the Chicago campus, and I am also excited for you to be participating in the White Coat Ceremony. Even though this event is not in person, it is still very important. It is an event that represents your introduction to the profession as a student pharmacist. It is also important because it also represents all the support that is available to you, from the college leadership, to faculty and staff, to current student leaders, alumni, and your fellow peers. 
We are all here to support you throughout your pharmacy professional education and career. Um, and it is always important, but especially now, that you take initiative, reach out, stay connected, and to fully maximize the great UIC pharmacy advantages. As we introduce the class, we will highlight students with an immediate family member who is a graduate from UIC College of Pharmacy, as well as, as, well as highlight a few donor awards for uh, new students. In addition to the awards that are highlighted, we had over 50 other awards for new students from the College of Pharmacy. With that, we are pleased to introduce the UIC College of Pharmacy Class of 2024. Lamis Abdallah. Yosef Abdinabi. Rahaf Abdul Sayem. Yomna Abu Leili. Alexa Abranilla. Olemide Aude Baugan. Nasir Ahmed. Yara Albar. Adnan Alhomzi. Humara Alam. Majd Alamari. Majd's father, Amen Alamari, is a UIC Pharmacy PharmD graduate of 1996. Ruba Alamari. Alejandra Alyssa Alvarez. Noor Al Yasiri. Chloe Ann. Anessa Anand. Yekaterina Antonishina. Gegen Aurora. Mildred Asamoa. Nina Odisho. Shehan Avoke. Shayla Chalabiani Aziri. Isa Azar. Naini Hawa Ba. Haley Barnhouse. Dylan Byron. Jasmine Brantley. Kara Andrea Brown. Priscilla Alyssa Carranza. Vanessa Chan. Stephanie Chen. Justin Monfar Chun. Justin is the recipient of the Jennifer S. Perry and the Andrew S. Perry Scholarship. The donors are Jennifer S. Perry, Farm D98, and Andrew S. Perry. Ashley Choi. Marta Ivana Chokalska. Alejandro Cisneros Orozco. Ashton Clary. Ryan Clemens. Spencer Coffey. Elizabeth Daly. Ann Dam. Anna Daisy. Jade Devira. Elise Dutcher. Sierra Adesiri. Kanila Aledis. Juliana Destiny Estrumara. Yazan Fadi. Samuel Awa Forjor. Hadil Fowad.
Dominic Gabino. Trishna Gandhi. Benjamin Gershman. Marcelo Gonzalez. Leon Griffith III. Celeste Andrea Guzman. Robo Haley. Layla Hamad. Travis Hansen. Travis's brother, Kent Hansen, is a UIC Pharmacy PharmD graduate of 2020. Hidea Hassan. Yasmin Hassoun. Kayla Holmesy. Ben Ketty Humphreys. Joanne Yuchan Hung. Uzir Hussein. Juhaina Ibrahim. Yosef Ismail. Camila James. Ednerson Jean Baptiste. Elena Johnson. Kate June. Niraja Kadiala. Huda Kalota. Rina Deep Kayara. Alia Khan. Angela Kim. Day Sal Kim. Young Hoon Kim. Christopher Corfiatis. Mire Coro. Yvette Costadinova. Samantha Cozio. Monica Kumar. Vikrant Kumar. Rylan Thor Lane. Ryan Lau. Christopher Lee. Ryan Lee. Caroline Lee. Estelle Lee. Heather Lee. Jean Lee. Lauren Lee. Gerda Lessenskata. Chia Chien Jessica Liang. Mark Justin Alvandia Lim. Andrew Lopez. Rachel Loy. Magdalena Mani. Magdalena is a recipient of the DeBoe Family Scholar Award. Donor is the DeBoe Family Foundation, Lawrence Laurie DeBoe, Class of 1953. Yazin Mahmood. Morgan Mariano. Jonathan Marin. Niboisha Markovic. Michael Christopher McShan. Kiana Nicole Miller. Bayan Mizied. Mohammed Mahmoud Mohammed. Natalie Moreno.
Jennifer Morrow. Mohamed Mokalid. June Moan Moy. Megan Murtaugh. Imam Navid. Hafsa Nawaz. Kang Nguyen. Ifoma Injabibo. Mahmoud Nabakti. Alex Abafemi. Luke Olchichelski. Elizabeth Okaim. Wad Ibrahim Asman. Rocco Pantaleo. Eugene Park. Armin Pashimofrad. Adnan Patel. Charmi Patel. Dhruv Patel. Gunjan Patel. Rima Patel. Shweta Patel. Vishwa Patel. Vishwa is a recipient of the Jennifer S. Perry and Andrew S. Perry Scholarship. The donors are Jennifer S. Perry, Farm D98, and Andrew S. Perry. Diana Panev. Victoria Fan. Cherry Fan. Frank Pignoni. Nina Pacanelli. Ian Quiroz. Haloon Jenny Radna. Nira Rashad. Ramsha Riemann. Mary Margaret Rinker. Travis Rosansky. Amanda Ruskowski. Sarah Said. Asha Safi. Lena Safi. Carlo Salamat. Alan Samuel. Elisa Marie Sanchez. Drew Saunders. Unhi Seal. Jackson Shearer. Jennifer Sheehan. Joseph Shen. Kyle Sherman. Alna Shibu. Roxanne Shoa. Maha Zia Siddiqui. Thomas Slater. Mitchell Sorensen. Karina Sawa. Natalie Spudik. Melody Sa. Thomas Matthew Swinos. Thomas's mother, Janine Swinos, is a UIC Pharmacy BS graduate of 1983. Anjay Tabilos. Sana Tabza. Mustafa Tihib. 
Alexandra Yurosevic. Teresa Valdez. Gabriela Vasquez. Fernando Vega. Fernando is a recipient of the Strandhold Scholar Award. Donors are Jack and Victoria Strandhoy, both class of 1967. Diane Patricia Machas Broya. Niam Vora. Jessica Wagner. Heather Webster. Endale Waldinarium. Casey Lynn Wolf. Paulina Starr Sayari Boone. Shikir Yazova. Gipim Joyce Yao. Kendall Yorks. Dayoung Yi. Steven Yonan. Tim Yu. Sania Zafar. Tihut Zuwudu. Tihut is the recipient of the Debo Family Scholar Award. The donor is the Debo Family Foundation, Lawrence Laurie Debo, class of 1953. Michael Zahu. Zach Saxon Suo. Paulina Zuhovska. Class of 2024, you may now coach yourselves. Congratulations, UIC Pharmacy Class of 2024. We are now going to go to the live Zoom to see you all. So wave, cheer, congratulations. We are now pleased to introduce the Pharmacy Student Council or our, our Pharmacy Student Government, PSC, co-presidents for the Pledge of Professionalism. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today. This might be the first time we have a white coat ceremony after classes start. So props to you guys, that's amazing. And I've talked to a few of you guys for the first week. You guys are, seem to be overwhelmed. So first, just take a nice deep breath. Isn't that nice? So normally a president, uh, both presidents give a speech. And for this year, I wanted to shake it up and give a nice poem incorporating advice. So, here we go. First off, don't be afraid to make some mistakes, as this is your chance to recuperate. Worst case scenario, you get to learn, or you create penicillin for the world. Because Dr. Fleming was not perfect, his scientific mistake led to antibiotics. Next, don't be afraid of changes as you go. There, these are opportunities for you to grow. Please refrain from yearning for the past, especially when life is coming at you so fast. Had we stayed in the past, we wouldn't linger for process or progress. While the past is frozen, the future is limitless. Therefore, go through change for the sake to evolve. It'll be a struggle, but with a level up, it'll be resolved. Third, don't be afraid to ask questions. And let me break away from the poem. Let me ask that again. Don't be afraid to ask questions, okay? After all, you paid enough intuitions. This is a four year, all you can ask and learn buffet. So please go ahead and ask away. But don't forget to ask yourself why. An important question to ask at all times. This is the beauty of a soul search. It's a top priority like a pharmacy course. Lastly, but not least, don't be afraid of being you. 
balanced improvement while staying true. Everyone knows something unique in this virtual room. My dear friend, you are no exception to this rule. So please embrace who you are in the night sky of superstars. Welcome to your new home. Bienvenidos, Juan Ying, Namaste, Salam, Ahmed Sahtan, Shalom. Thank you. And now, good luck on your next chapter in your journey. I hand it off to my PSC co president, Tony. Hello, new P1s. I'm Tony Rosella. I'm the student council president on the Rockford campus. This is my third white coat ceremony that I've attended. My past presidents have talked about what it means to be a quote unquote good pharmacist. I've always been interested in what people thought qualified the word good there. My past president even made a rather moving speech calling on words of Smokey the Bear about what it meant to be a good pharmacist. Believe me, it is a pretty good speech. But back to this word good, does knowing a lot about drugs make you good? Does being able to talk to a lot of patients make you good? With the word so nondescript as good, it becomes hard to narrow the definition to anything agreeable. This has become something that I have spent a long time thinking about. I believe I have finally arrived at an appropriate answer. Being a good pharmacist, is not based on a skill, but dedication to yourself and your patients. A person is not a good pharmacist simply by being good at one skill or by one decision they made when they were a P1. No, being a good pharmacist is about continual dedication to helping those around you. This takes many forms. Are you going to study extra well and actually understand the material for that test? Are you gonna know just enough to pass and then quickly forget after the test? Are you going to dig further into that patient's chart and look for ways to help? Or are you just gonna call it a day and head home early? Are you going to listen, listen to your patient's concerns about medications and actually respond accordingly? Or are you just going to give them the standard counseling points and move on to the next patient? Questions like these already come into my practice of pharmacy, and they will only become more frequent as we approach becoming fully fledged pharmacists. This is not to say you need to be perfect. Often the expectation is that medical professionals are perfect, and this is a common downside of modern medicine. The scientific method has never pretended to be perfect and never will. Instead, you should focus on applying what you learn each day to become a better pharmacist. Again, there will be downsides and it certainly isn't going to be easy. But if you commit yourself to your practice and each day strive to become better, undoubtedly, one day, you will be a good pharmacist. We are about to read together the Pro Pledge of Professionalism. I encourage you to read along carefully and think about these words with what I've just told you. Take these words as a beginning outline. As a student of pharmacy, I believe there is a need to build and reinforce a professional identity founded on integrity ethical behavior, and honor. This development, a vital process in my education, will help to ensure that I am true to the professional relationship I establish between myself and society as I become a member of the pharmacy community. Integrity will be an essential part of my everyday life, and I will pursue all academic and professional endeavors with honesty and commitment to service. To accomplish this goal of professional development as a student of pharmacy, I will develop a sense of loyalty and duty to the profession by contributing to the well-being of others 
and by enthusiastically accepting the responsibility and accountability for membership in the profession. Foster professional competency through lifelong learning. I will strive for high ideals, teamwork, and unity within the profession in order to provide optimal patient care. Support my colleagues by actively encouraging personal commitment to the oath of a pharmacist and the code of ethics for pharmacists as set forth by the profession. Dedicate my life and practice to excellence. This will require an ongoing reassessment of personal and professional values. Maintain the highest ideals and professional attributes to ensure and facilitate the covenantal relationship required of the pharmaceutical caregiver. The profession of pharmacy is one that demands adherence to a set of ethical principles. These high ideals are necessary to ensure the quality of care extended to the patients I serve. As a student of pharmacy, I believe this does not start with graduation. Rather, it begins with my membership in this professional college community. Therefore, I will strive to uphold this pledge as I advance towards full membership in the profession. Hi everyone, I'm Tom Tenhove. I'm the Associate Dean for Student Affairs in the College of Pharmacy, also known as the Dean of Students. I'm glad they got that word right. Every year they trip up on that word covenantal and they got it right, good job. Again, a big thanks to Jewel Osco as well as Rochelle Allen. We appreciate the continued support of Jewel Osco and friends like Rochelle. Normally at this part of the ceremony, I ask Rochelle to stand and be recognized. She's not a big fan of that. So I'm sure she's happy this is a virtual ceremony. Most people think of commencement as the time when students are graduated and move on to the next phase of their lives. The word commencement means a start, a new beginning. As such, I like to think of the white coat ceremony as the first of two commencement ceremonies that we have for our students because the white coat symbolizes the beginning of the journey to becoming a pharmacist. New students, you had to compete against others for a spot to get into the class of 2024. All right, stop competing now. The only person you have to compete against is yourself. There will be plenty of spaces at graduation for all of you. As we welcome new students each year, we're reminded of the great legacy set forth by our wonderful alumni. With in-person ceremonies, we were able to have alumni greet and place the white coat on our students. Unfortunately, that's just not possible this year. So alumni shared virtual greetings to include in this year's ceremony. We'll watch those in a minute. Oh, by the way, make sure you check out Dean Schumach's impressive graduation garb. He's already geared up for your graduation in 2024. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate this first commencement ceremony of our new students. And we look forward to celebrating another commencement with you again at their graduation in four years. Welcome class of 2024. And now let's watch the greetings from the UIC College of Pharmacy alumni. Welcome class of 2024. We are Paul and Kathy Blahanka. And we donned our white coats in honor of your virtual white coat celebration. We're sorry you can't do this in person and that we can't be there with you. Congratulations and go Cubs. My name is Mary Lynn Moody and I'm Associate Dean for Professional and Governmental Affairs. Welcome to the UIC College of Pharmacy. I graduated from the College of Pharmacy in 1979 
And I hope the time that you spend as a college student here are as great as the ones that I did. Greetings and humble salutations to the class of 2024. I am Kenneth Joseph, an honorary UIC College of Pharmacy Flame. I just wanted to congratulate you guys because the grass is greener on this side. It's going to get even greener when you graduate. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Dan Slummy from the class of 1980, and currently the group vice president of pharmacy for Albertsons. Congratulations on your white coat ceremony. I wish you all the luck in your career. Hi, everybody. I am Susie Solomon from the class of 2004. Just wanted to say congratulations to everyone and welcome to the best four years of your life at UIC College of Pharmacy. Hi, I'm Norm Garges, class of 93. Welcome to the College of Pharmacy and good luck on your pharmacy journey. Hey, P1 students, welcome to the UIC College of Pharmacy and to your white coat ceremony. I just wanted to show you this great road that I'll get aware in four years when you graduate. I'm so looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to getting to know each one of you and work with you over the next four years and start your journey uh, to being a professional pharmacist. Congratulations. Oh, hi there. This is Al Edwards, class 1969. Just um, wishing the class of 2024 a um, very good um, educational sequence there and uh, hoping that uh, I can use the F word with everyone and say you have great faculty there so uh, please enjoy your uh, educational experience again Al Edwards class of 69